Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning. In today's video, I'm going to be getting my cash envelope stuffed for my second paycheck in January. So if you're interested in seeing this video, stay tuned. Dokie. So I have my budget planner here, just in case you are new. This is from Kelvo Plan. So be sure to check that out. But before we do this, can I just show you, in case you missed my other video, how cool the Transformer Planner is. <laughs> so it's actually my budget planner and my faith planner, which I did what they call a transformer planner. I was going to do the Franken planning thing, but decided that was way cooler. So it is two planners in one, but I need to pull these out because these are the cash envelopes that I will be stuffing today. And then, well, not the envelopes, but the numbers. And then I am going to go, I'll put a bookmark. There we go. So I know where everything is going. So I just write down this sheet. In case you are new to my channel, I do go ahead and do my budget for, basically I set up my budget for the month. And then every paycheck, I figure out like what bills need to be paid. I take those funds and just leave them in the bank because they're all like either auto pay or, you know, deductions of some sort but they all come out of my checking account essentially so then after all of the bills are paid i then take whatever is remaining and i divide that into where i would like for it to go as far as my cash is concerned so whatever is left over i do leave a little bit of a buffer so like what you see me budget for which is uh two thousand uh i'll show you this so like what you see me buffer for, which is $2,000 is not how much I actually get paid. It's just kind of like what I, you know, count as the money. So then I go ahead and, you know, set up my budget here. And then I do like to write everything down here in my, the monthly part, just because I like a visual representation of it. And I know quickly which day things are going to be taken out of. But then I also have been using these pages to notate again, which day things will be taken out of, which day things will be paid. And then I put a check mark down there to signify that it has been in fact paid. So that is kind of how I've been using this planner. I really do like it. The only thing about this planner so far that I do not particularly care for is this whole like highlight the weekday thing. So you can see I've kind of gone through and written in my um <laughs> my own numbers just because I was getting so confused. I also am not sure about the importance of this box. So I might, instead of like whiting out because I hate the way that looks, I might start covering this box up with like just a white full box stickers because this just lets me know what I am going to transfer from my checking account, from my main checking account or to like my spending checking account. And this is what I put in that account for me. So $50 for household, $50 for an allowance, which typically ends up going to like either groceries or, you know, other household expenses. And then I do allocate myself $15. I will be allocating myself $15 for Starbucks. And that will provide, well, give me the opportunity to be able to get my two drinks for that particular pay week. So I do one drink a week, which is about... Mm, seven to eight dollars so i figured fifteen dollars would be enough to cover that and then i can always use points you know if i go over a little bit i do have plenty of points on starbucks that i can use to balance that out so then like i said i take whatever is left and i you know figure out how to split it here so this is my first envelope stuffing i had 619 dollars that i used remaining and then this time i have 520 two dollars remaining so and i am going to be stuck stuffing my um i'm trying to remember what people are calling these i guess low priority sinking funds i don't really know 
I feel like everything is a priority, but to give it a name <laughs> from the planner community, I guess it would be considered low priority. Um, so this is my cash breakdown sheet, which I do have this as a printable on my Etsy shop. And I just take this to the bank this time because it was so, so, so cold. I literally just went through the drive through handed this to the teller and she was like, thank you. It just helps them all out, you know, helps them out a lot so that they don't have to think about that. I do have the bank bag still available in the green version on my Etsy shop as well. That link is always in the description box below. And I did not look at this beforehand, so... I'm like, I don't even know how she put this money in here. It's all kinds of crazy, but that's okay. We'll fix it up real quick. Okay, I think I got it right. So again, this should be five. 22, so 51, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 94, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, whoa, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, so 590, 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, no, that was 490. 91, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 500. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. There we go. That is right. Okay, so we are going to start with my wallet as per usual. Oh, I do have lots of change. I can hear it. And I forgot to take out my change holder. <laughs> so I'm going to just put in this big bag for now so that it doesn't get lost. And then let's see. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Do I have any receipts? I do have one receipt in here, which I am going to scan into the Fetch app. Fetch is an app that you can use to earn points. And those points can be redeemed for gift cards. I was super excited last year that I actually got serious about Fetch. And so I was able to get a gift card for Amazon and a gift card for Starbucks. So I'm super excited to see what I can save for this year. But hold on, because I forgot to grab my other little like on the go wallet thing that I've been carrying. Okay, so this is what, <laughs> so that I don't have to always pull this out. I have been keeping like a debit card and my ID and stuff in here. And then my miscellaneous funds I've been keeping in here. So your girl has $20 rollover in miscellaneous. I guess I don't really need to put that in there, but we will keep that in mind. Beauty, I am going to keep in here because I am again behind in getting my nails done. Uh, I was supposed to be going this week, but there was a scheduling issue and I didn't go. <laughs> so, but I am going to put this in here because eventually we will get back on track. So 45, 46, 47, 48 for nails and then 50, 75, 76, 77 and 78 for hair. So that will go in this one. And depending on whether or not we get this all worked out, I may not take out money for nails next time. We'll have to see. We just kind of have to see how the paychecks fall. So beauty is now stuffed. Food, woohoo! I had some rollover. Five, 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, yay. So I will be adding that to my sinking funds. But food is going to get $60. I think I did a 50 and a 10. Oh, well, it'll all work out. Again, miscellaneous had a rollover 20. So I'm going to put that in with my sinking funds. Miscellaneous gets 50, so 20, 40, and 50. Which, actually, where did I just put, eh, we'll just leave it in here for now. I'm like, where did I just put my little wallet? <laughs> Lost it that fast. Gas. Whoa, I had some roll over. What do we have this time? 10, 15, 16, 17. We're going to keep the 10 just in case life gets hard. And we're going to add 60. So now gas will have $70. We'll keep the 10 in there though because you just never knew. And then giving is going to get its usual five. I did use some of this this time. But giving now has $10. So, and that is it for my wallet. And again, because I typically get asked about this every single video, <laughs> this is from Moterm. It is the Veg Tan Leather, and I bought it from Moterm directly. So, going to Moterm.com, I was able to get that binder or that. Yeah, binder. It's an A6 size. No, I'm sorry. It's a personal ring size binder, but it does fit the A6 size envelopes. All right. Now for this one, which is new. This is also from Moterm, but this is new here. So for holidays, I'm going to stuff $10 and I will update my trackers off camera i meant to do that before the video and i forgot so all of these are empty because i literally just set them up if you missed that video be sure to go and check it out i tell you about setting them up and then i also tell you why i set them up and these envelopes are available in my etsy shop so if you're interested in purchasing them you can get your own customized labels so, and these are the trackers. It came with this binder. Like these were just regular pages. So I just took some washi stickers and made my own labels. And I'm just going to use this because it was here. Go Wild is going to get 20 because I will be going to Go Wild in April. But I'm thinking that this honestly is going to be like saving up for future Go Wild instead of using it for the current one i'm thinking i think i'm gonna just use my money that i've been saving up and travel for the go wild that i'm about to go to if that makes sense baby boy which is my son is going to get five i feel like i did something wrong like why do i have so many five? oh that's for my savings challenges like, why do I have so many fives and ones? Um, planner stuff <laughs> randomly is going to get nine dollars. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am on a very low no spend, <laughs> but the reality is, at the end of the year, I am going to want to purchase a planner for 2024, and in August, I'm going to want to purchase a planner for the next school year. So might as well start saving for that. Chicago Planner Conference or CPC. I don't know why I put this book up here because I can't see. It's going to get $10. And this is another planner conference that I go to, obviously in Chicago. So I am preparing for that. For tech, I am going to do 10 because your girl loves technology. <laughs> Love technology. I didn't take all those little tabs out. And then 
sun oh school i'm gonna do five so this is for my school as far as like grad school or for school as in work <laughs> but just anything that i may need i should have had a sinking fund for this started already because i just had to pay 92 dollars for a textbook yay yay for grad school books is also going to get five and i definitely am looking forward to stuffing this because there is a book that i want to purchase so as soon as i get the funds i will do that and then sunshine my little nephew he is going to get his first five dollars so that I can send him all the chicken nuggets. <laughs> and that is it. And these, oh, this is what it actually looked like. Like I said, I just covered up that part with washi tape, washi stickers that I had left over. And then that was that. So the black binder is done. And then I did forget. What else did I forget to grab? I forgot to get, oh my goodness. Talk about not being prepared. One moment, please. Okay, my bad. I forgot my monthly, <laughs> my monthly binder, which I need. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eventually get this together, you guys. So for January, I just needed to add another fifty. This savings challenge is also a printable on my shop so if you would be interested in having this as a like shipped item let me know because i do recognize that some people don't actually have printers <laughs> so if you would like me to offer this as a printed like laminated ship to you kind of thing let me know so this one is completed so yay add the hundred dollars in there i did not label these just because you can see the tracker, so I didn't feel like it was necessary, but I suppose I could label them monthly. So January is done. So just kind of a flip through February, March, in case you're new, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. These are obviously designed to be colored in, but ain't nobody got time for that. So <laughs> I just crossed them off. All right. So now we can do our envelopes, which we have 13, 14, and 15. And that goes in this one my 50 envelope challenge. I decided I didn't want to use these again because I made them last year, but they're starting to like fall apart. So I created this one and this is available on my Etsy shop. So with this purchase, you will get this like book with the disc. They're like a gold, clear gold sparkly kind of thing. So you'll get the actual bind, the cover, the disc, the envelopes that will be numbered one to 50. The pocket is not included. The pocket is something that I just sell on my own. Um, I also sell the pockets on the shop, but I just added one because I wanted this to stick in here. And then you will also get the envelope tracker. So last time I pulled 13, 14, and 15. So we are going to stuff these. So 10 and 15. Uh, they are like side loading. So there's 15. 13 and 14 are here. So 10. What did I do? I put a 10 somewhere I shouldn't have. Let me switch this one out. Let's do, I'm going to take this 10 for miscellaneous and put, oh, I know what it is. 
Miscellaneous is supposed to have 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think, yeah. We're going to put that in there. Okay. So, so I have a 10 for the 14 and a 10 for the 13. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. But I think since I had some rollover money, yes, I'm going to put this over here. Oh, gosh, oh. <laughs> so instead of stuffing 13 and 14, I'm going to stuff 15 three times. And then this rollover money, again, will go into my savings challenges. So, yay! I'm going to try to round up like as much as possible because at the end of the year, I would rather have more than $1,275 saved. So, that is the goal, is to kind of round up. And as you can see, I already did with uh, one, two, three, four, and then five. I just rounded all of them up to five. So theoretically, I will have more money. And then this is what the back looks like. I just put the same cover in the front and on the back. So these ones are done. So now we're going to take 29, ooh. I don't think I can do 29 and 34. Let's see if I can find. Okay, we'll do 29 and eight. I'm like, there's no, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Definitely gotta be realistic. So this is what I will stuff for next time. And yeah, so we'll stuff this for next time. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Oh, I forgot to put that back in there. Uh, this one. All right, and then last but not least, this should be $50, which is going to go in my uh, sinking funds. No, savings challenge binder. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Perfect. I was like, oh gosh, please tell me I didn't do that wrong. All right, so that's 50. And then I have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 38 extra dollars. Yay! To put in here. So that's $88 to add towards my savings challenge binder. So I just stick this in here. And then when I am ready to do that video, I will have the money available. And these videos are done on Fridays, which I'm calling Fun Friday. So be sure to come back on Friday so you can see where that money gets put in my savings challenges. That is it, you guys. Sorry it was a hot mess, but if you've been here, you know that's pretty customary for me. <laughs> But I do try. I do try. <laughs> but I appreciate you for being here. Be safe, be kind, or be quiet. Be well, and I'll catch you in the next one.